All right, welcome back. Uh, joining me in the studio in person now is Mr. Okomrit, pardon me, Okomrit Kennedy Iiri, National Convener, C-I-S-C-A-E-S. -E welcome to the program. Thank Good you, afternoon. my brother. Welcome. God bless you. All right, uh, the most important thing I think um, anyone will be asking is the allegations you are making. Do you have proof? Well, uh, when you use the word allegation, introducing myself again, Comrade Kennedy Yeri is my name. I am mm -hmm. a humanitarian activist. Humanitarian activist. Mm -hmm. I believe that every human being created by God is entitled to quality life and quality living, a good life. So we fight for the social welfare and the social well being, social justice for everyone. And I'm a social entrepreneur. I run businesses locally and internationally. That means locally and transnationally. Mm. So what I do with activism is a way of giving back to the society and trying to make my world better. You know who is a failure? Not someone who didn't actually achieve what he or she would have wanted to. If you have gotten everything you've ever desired in life, but yet live while you are not adding value to humanity, not changing your world and making it better than you made it, you are a failure. Most of the things we fight for, they are not meant to work in our interest because God has elevated us already. But the world around us, there is a reason and a purpose we are preserved to see today. That every day we live, we should add value to the lives of the people around us. That is my mission. So choosing to become an activist is something that I have looked into critically. The gains and the pains involved. Because in activism, the people whose interests you fight to protect by even putting your life on the line could come out tomorrow to be your biggest critics. But again, like we said, it's like the teaching job. A teacher tries everything he or she could do to sustain knowledge. Knowing fully whether the people he or she is training to, be, to, 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 to become that who he or she has a vision or imagined them or envisaged them to be will definitely be greater than him, him, him or her. And yet, selflessly, the teacher continues to do that. You started by using the word alleged quote. I think affirmation should have been better. And I came to the studio to reaffirm. My dear, the wind and the breeze do not require evidence to be proven, to be real. Because you feel them. That is what is prevalent today in the boy state. The people who live within a boy state and across the neighboring states even up to places like as far as abuja anybody who is able to go online see some news watch some videos definitely must be aware of what is happening today in a boy state the level of security tension umai has created it's as visible as the wind or the air. There is nothing like whether you have proof for it. It's like you asking me, hey, to tell you how, how am I sure you are a man? And then it's a rhetorical question because there is an answer for you which you already know. So it doesn't need anything to be proven. I spoke with uh, a very high person today. Um, at the first CID, a commissioner of police. Hmm. The, she, she, she even knows more than me about the situation of things in Umai, in a uh, boy state, because she has served there for four years. The people who live in the neighboring states like, like, like Enugu, they are afraid for their people who live in a boy state, a state that used to be very stable and peaceful. Just one man because of his own inordinate addiction to make himself the supreme leader of that state. When did that man join politics? So my brother, it's not anything like 
allegation. It should be an affirmation. Are you at all worried that the governor might come at you for defamation of character and so on and so forth? Because if that should come up, then the courts would say, where was the proof for what you said? As you are even here, I, mm -hmm. uh, there are things I can show you from my phone that are within the public domain. So anything called defamation. Do you know when you are notorious for something, the world sees you? Do you understand what I'm saying? The world mm -hmm. sees you when you are notorious for something. You can either be notorious for something good or notorious for something bad. Umai's penchant, unquenchable penchant for power, has driven him crazy. Umai cannot even, I dare him to be the first to take, just take one step of uh, putting anything in the court for defamation. Right? In my response, uh, many other people will join. The man has destroyed the peace and the stability of a boy state. Everybody knows that. Even the people within his camp, they know he has done a kind of damage that has become almost irreparable. If you must go to equity, you can finish that statement for me. You must come with clean hands. Come on. He's not clean. Nothing is alleged against him. These are affirmations and confirmations. And he knows it. See, Omar is a sinking man. He's a sinking man because he knows he has done a lot of things in that state. Why is he desperate to impose a successor on the, on the people of a boy state? Because any sensible man that gets on that seat will send him to jail. He has destroyed that state. And a lot of people do not like him. He is aware. That is why he's a drowning man gasping for breath and fighting for survival. You know a drowning person. You know how risky it is to rescue them. If you are not careful, you drown with him or her and die. So something like defamation. See, let me tell you. Let him wait till the day he hands over. He is supposed to be charged for crimes against humanity. Look, a lot of people will come out, people who cannot lie with both faces, like I'm a both face. I still told you he's not my enemy. I just want him to leave that state alone and let there be peace and respect for human rights and dignity. All right. Uh, as a uh, humanitarian and activist, I know one of your duties is to <coughs> bring to the fore things that are happening. Mm -hmm. But what do you hope will happen from uh for lack of a better word the whistle blowing you are doing right now what what are the expected outcomes i know in your press briefing there i think you called on the igp mm -hmm. and some others mm -hmm. what do you think would happen to resolve some of these issues because um you can even take it away back to the state we have the issue of the traditional ruler who was murdered in the state and we have allegations flying here and there the abga candidate has been you know named in the in the issue although the court says they sh shouldn't be arrested so there are issues happening in a boy state right now what do you think would be the solution uh because you like you mentioned the elections are coming definitely but prior to then and perhaps in between transitions what can be done to calm issues and bring some level of stability back i do what i'm doing to save humanity and to save the future mm. of several innocent children my brother if care is not taken, the worst form of terrorism will emanate from a boy state, and that will be the legacy of David Umayi. We have already started seeing what we come, and that is why we are pleading. Come, what's my business with a boy state? I'm from Edo State. You know how many states you will have to cross before getting to Edo. But as a humanitarian activist, I have kids and I just wish the kids who live in a boy state today could have a secure future. That's why I do what I do. I am making this public outcry as a civil society lead leader, calling on the people whose duty it is to restore human dignity, peace and order in any state the first and primary obligation 
or responsibility of a governor of a state is the welfare and the security of the indigenous of citizens. But look at Umayi, the people upon whose vote you were enthroned, look at what you have done to them. You have removed their dignity from them. Can you give specific instances of this? Fine. On the 14th of February, I was attacked by his own militia group, Ebubeagu, in a boy state. So I'm a victim. You see? You see, since Dara, since Dara Koyuli died, you, you could sense since she died, it seems as if uh, Nambak is dead. Because you know when Dora was there, you know the fear of Nabdak became the beginning of wisdom and common sense. We all find that I was listening to one of my interviews. She said she once lost her sister because of fake drugs that were applied on her. So that passion, because she became a victim of that, and the pain was what prepared her to go the extra mile. I was a victim. I did not know Mahi from the internet. There is a man we had sat down together one on one and related well, including the man today who he imposed as the APC candidate, go back candidate for Saturday's election, Francis Wofu. We've had meetings together in Mahi's house. As a social entrepreneur, I visit a boy state with my partners from the U United States and Europe. I do social interventions. You get what I'm saying? A boy was not like this. Gradually, you know, power corrupts. And absolute power corrupts absolutely. Especially when power is in the hands of someone who has this inordinate quest for more power. That was what happened to him. Now, things fell apart when he started changing from one party to the other party. For example, maybe he left one party. Do you get what I'm trying to say? He became too autocratic even before he left. That's not the issue. The issue is that what we have at stake now is that there is no longer security and safety of life in a boy state. Just because of one thing. And what is that? The quest by Umahi for power and to retain it as the supreme leader of a boy state government. Now, you made mention of somebody who was killed. My brother, do we have to go that far? Don't go as far as that man. Relate this thing to me. I was almost killed. You know why I was spared? Because according to the leader of that militia group, the leader is Stanley Okoro Emega. Ironically, that same man is the APC state chairman, a boy, a boy state APC chairman. He is the leader and the coordinator of the Ebubea group, militia group in Ebony State. That was the man that led his own team of armed militias eh, to lay a siege on the hotel I was lodged, Asin Suite, at Abakriki. And he told me, you are spared because you are not just an ordinary person. You are a popular, popular face, a public figure, someone with influence. Should anything happen to you, a boy will be on fire. There will be civil arrest and civil protest. So for that reason, we will escort you out of this state. You could imagine that about the governor had asked them to, you know, move me out of that state that I was not needed or wanted in that state. Reasons why a man of my kind that has paid my dues, all this child who joined politics yesterday, Apart from politics, what else have they ever done? And what can they ever do? Are you getting what I'm saying? Around 9 p.m. was when these people came, right? Escorted me out of the hotel and they said, go out of this state and not return. 
a man on a peace mission like myself, a man that has affected lots of lives across the boy state, a man who knows a lot of people, I mean statesmen, the Gary ways are my people, the Wales are my people. A man of my time that enters the toy boy and really men know I am. That was part of what saved me. And he said to me, boastfully, that they have no respect for human life. And he said to me that the mistake he made was that they would have traded me when I, just when I was coming into the state. And nobody would be, would be aware I, was, I had entered into that state. And that they have a way of framing up people like me. Look, we could harm you and plant something in your bag. A dead man cannot defend himself. You know what I did? I petitioned the IG. Do you know what's happened? What's happening to that petition? The IG sent an authorization to the CP of that state. And the CP is Olaleye Sunday. He's the one in charge of a boy, a boy state command. I could make the a copy of the um, authorization letter, you know, sent by the IG to him to treat the matter. He never did. That is the same CP that is looking after another person to arrest. Do you know this same man, this uh, Stanley, had killed a lot of people. When I filed my petition, there was a confirmation that he had murder cases hanging on his head. But Umay is shielding and protecting him. What kind of a governor is that? Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah. He's shielding and protecting him because that is the man he uses for his dirty jobs. All right, I'm sorry. You, um, Are you following what I'm trying to say? Yeah, so so I'm a victim. Oh. So asking me for proofs, I am the proof. I am the evidence. They almost killed me, but God saved me. My popularity saved me. My influence saved me. The people have affected their lives, saved me, and all through the grace and mercies of God. What about other people? You know, he told me, look, that the life of an average person is lower than the, the life of a chicken, that they, they sniff life out of people, and that they don't keep people at times just like that. They dehumanize them first. So as I remember things like the Okorie, the man they framed up, Licked his own arrest or drug, uh, whatever it is, right? All of these things you've seen on TV how a lot of CSOs have come to report things like this to my and nothing was done. I am telling you, the Bububa Bububa go militias. I come to that. See, Amoteku, is that not how a regional security outfit operates? Regionally, the governors came together, regulate the operations. Umahi was part of the creation of the Ebubeago as a regional outfit, security outfit. He disbanded. Then he localized and colonized it by using it as a political militia group in the Boy State. Are you aware? Go do your investigations. Ebubeago militia group had membership of that court who are from the Northern State, from Kogi, even from the Niger Delta region. Today, everybody dreads them. And he had come to say he prescribed that it's a lie. They still operate. They use axes, cutlasses, knives, pump-action rifles. And they use government vehicles that is plateless, unmarked. Oh my, finances this act of terrorism from public money. All right. Uh, uh, we have to run out of time now. Um, but uh, like I said, um, I do hope, you know, at least you have something documented because at the end of I the day... I will send you my letter. You see the letter, like, the letter I sent to the IG. What they have not known is that you know everybody you can hide with what by the grace of God I have done and what, what I have been as a person. Mm. I think the God keeps people like me alive to fight for the defenseless and the voiceless. All right, so you see, I will push this matter to a point that those criminals he uses the criminals wise essays, the murderers and the killers, they have just gone to the liar's cage right. to take um, to try to take one of the goals that the liar has kept. Right. The truth of the matter is that this they will not escape it because life must be saved. Now let me say this as a note of warning. I just told you, Umahi now having left this legacy 
of insecurity and hide my deadness. The election of last two weeks, uh, he didn't win. He manipulated his way. I'm sure he's having some problems, and I'm sure with everything that will come out of it, they may nullify his victory, and if they do a rerun, he will not win. <laughs> Leave that. The worst is that he wins this Senate, and no right taking a boy person will go and compulsively, I mean, reasonably cast his or a ballot for Mahi or Umahi's in post candidate. Now, he has proliferated and littered the state of a boy with all forms of dangerous weapons in the hands of the wrong people. How can he retrieve these weapons? And this group that he has, he has been paying for public funds for doing nothing but gangsterism. What will they survive on? You know what will be the effects of, of, of some of those things. And that's why I keep warning that the worst special of terrorism might just emanate from a boy state. So somebody like Umahi has desecrated his own political office. And a man like that shouldn't be trusted. Or anyone endorsed by him, baptized or anointed by him, should not be given an opportunity to ever lead, lead in such a high position. Before I let you say something, why all of these tensions today? There are allegations. This one I want to say now, there are allegations that he had gone to recruit militants, hoodlums, and gangsters from Kogi. You saw it in, in the clip you played before. And the man they fingered is a man notorious for that, Yaya Belu. Right. Uh, I'm so sorry, uh, Mr. Uh, we've uh, we uh, run out of time yes. now. We've run out of time. Um, perhaps we'll leave that um, for a broader discussion yes. uh, where we can actually, you know, table down the pros and speak yes. on that. Yes. Uh, after this, we'll also be reaching out to um, the governor himself yes. for his comments. Yes. If so, possible, yeah. bring the two of us here. Uh, no problem. We'll, we'll we uh, to we that. can face all right. us. All I want is total mm. change. All right. See, like, like, there's something I want to say before I leave. Okay. Uh, if you can make it in 30 seconds, yes. please. We have to go now. Whoever you are. Politics is spot money. You win, you lose. And you lose, you win again. Look at what you said about a king being killed. Do we have to take a life? If there is anything God will not forgive us for doing wrong, it's when you kill someone. The blood of any living soul is the life of that living soul. Please, the madness should stop in the boy state. All right, thank, thank you so you. much. These are the words um, we should take um, away from this program as elections are set to hold um, just some days away. Thank you so much for coming. God um, bless you. Good to have you. Thank All you. All right, so we'll go on a break now, and then uh, when we return, we'll be going straight into the matter of the International Women's Day and uh, what it means to be a woman at the moment, participation in various sectors of life, and how we can improve this for the women uh, across the world. Stay with us. We'll be right back.